It's 2023 and guess what's blazing through the mid-range GP market? Like a comet. Yep, you guessed it. The 4060 Ti. But in a world flooded with graphic monsters, can this new kit on the block really hold its own? Today we're diving deep into the pixelated pool, comparing the shiny new 4060 Ti with its big brother, the 3060 Ti, and contenders from Team Red, the RX 7600 and 6750 XT. Ready to witness this graphic gladiator match? Because trust me, it's going to be graphically intense. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which GPU is worth emptying your piggy bank for. Alright, let's dive into the specs. While the exterior may be misled, the 4060 TI's internal specs reveal a lot. It has an 11% decrease in core count from the 3060 Ti, dropping from 4864 to 4352 cores. The TMU and ROC counts also saw reductions by 11% and a significant 40% when compared to the 3060 Ti. Meanwhile, both the 7600 and 6750 XT have higher ROC counts. But specs aren't just about the numbers. The 4060 Ti reduces its memory bus by half compared to the previous model, but impresses with a 52 to 64% increase in boost and base clocks. This jump is all thanks to Nvidia's new ADA GPU architecture and the 4 nanometer process, enhancing efficiency and boost clocks. Additionally, it has a 29% faster memory clock than the 3060 Ti. Price wise, the 4060 Ti 8GB is priced at $370, followed by the 6750 XT at $350, then the 3060 Ti at $335, and the RX 7600 finally at $250. A mere $35 separates the 3060 Ti from the 4060 Ti, while the RX 7600 stands out with unique pricing. So which GPU gives us the best bang for your buck? Keep watching to decide. Welcome to Rasterize 1080p, where frame rates rule. Quick note, we're not testing DLSS 3 today. It's apples versus robotic apples comparing AI upscalers. Every card is different. Let's see their raw performance. In most tests, the 4060 Ti leads, but with slim victories. For instance, the 6750 XT dominates in F1, while in GTA 5, the 3060 is surprisingly best the 4060 Ti. This reveals that sheer clock speeds don't determine every win. Against the 7600, the 4060 Ti generally prevails, except in Red Dead Redemption 2, hinting at AMD optimization. Props to the RX 6750 XT though, it's consistently punching above its weight class. Looking at averages, the 4060 Ti only shows an 8% edge over the 3060 Ti, 7% over the 6750 XT, and 18% lead on the RX 7600. It's solid, but we were expecting more. Time to tackle 1440p, the high def run. While you would expect big gaps, the 4060 Ti's lead over the 3060 Ti is not substantial. Clock speeds aren't everything sometimes, it's the details. Interestingly, at 1440p, the 6750 XT frequently surpasses the 4060 Ti. Maybe it's that 12 gigabytes of VRAM flexing against the 4060 Ti's 8GB. And in GTA 5, the 3060 pulls further ahead of the 4060 Ti. But in Red Dead Redemption 2, a usual AMD stronghold, the 4060 Ti stands toe to toe with the RX 7600, like they're perfectly in sync, especially in 0.1% lows. However, the RX 7600 seems outpaced by other titles of 1440p, as if it's lost its edge. Average wise, the 4060 Ti's lead over the 3060 Ti is a mere 6%. The 6750 XT is right behind it, with the 4060 Ti leading by just 6%. But the 4060 Ti does shine against the RX 7600 with a whopping 27% advantage in average FPS. So it's not all doom and gloom. Time for the rasterization recap. Value wise, the 4060 Ti is in an odd middle ground, lagging slightly behind the 3060 Ti and neck and neck with the 6750 XT. The RX 7600 is the value champ, majorly due to its attractive price. It truly offers the most for your money. Now for efficiency. The 4060 Ti impressively sips power, 48% more efficient than the 6750 XT, and even 61% better than its sibling, the 3060 Ti. Versus the RX 7600, it's 21% ahead. Clearly, efficiency is the 4060 Ti's forte. In raw power terms, both the 4060 Ti and RX 7600 draw around 129 watts, but the 4060 Ti stands out by using 28% less power than the 6750 XT and 34% less power than its predecessor. Essentially, it's the low power king in this battle. That's our rasterization wrap up. Stick around for more graphic insights. Time to delve into ray tracing at 1080p. So, how do our GPUs perform? The 4060 Ti strides ahead of the 3060 Ti, but stumbles in games like Hitman 3, where its predecessor even overtakes it. As for the RX cards, Ray tracing dims the 6750 XT shine, making the 4060 Ti seem out of reach. Plus, the 3060 Ti occasionally nudges ahead, reminding us of the significance of specs. 
In average FPS for 1080p ray tracing, the 4060 Ti edges a 7% lead over the 3060 Ti, boasts a 15% lead over the 6750 XT, and dwarfs the RX 7600 by a massive 71%. Quite the divide. Moving over to ray tracing for 1440p, here lights dazzle, shadows deepen, and the competition intensifies. While the 6750 XT and 7600 lag behind, the 3060 Ti and 4060 Ti are surprisingly neck and neck. Unexpected moments, both the 6750 XT and 4060 Ti are in sync in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and the 3060 Ti nearly matches the 4060 Ti in Spider-Man. In a 1440p ray tracing 5 game average, the 4060 Ti claims a 10% advantage over the 3060 Ti, a 7% lead over the 6750 XT, and a whopping 70% lead over the RX 7600. Quite the dramatic showdown. Time for the ray tracing round. In due mean value, the 3060 Ti reigns supreme, the 4060 Ti trails the predecessor, and barely surpasses the 6750 the ST. The RX 7600 was firmly at the bottom, indicating Nvidia's dominance in ray tracing. Shifting to GeoMean efficiency, the 4060 Ti shines the brightest, leading with numbers that are jaw-dropping. 64% over the 3060 Ti, 84% over the 6750 XT, and 64% over the RX 7600. Regarding power, the RX 7600 and 4060 Ti draw similarly, but the 4060 Ti uses about 5% more. Still, it's 34% more efficient than the 3060 Ti, and 39% less power hungry than the 6750 XT. Quite the spectacle. Let's move over to some benchmarks. In Blender, the 4060 Ti dominates, surpassing its predecessor by 36%, the 7600 by a massive 246%, and the 6750 XT by 166%. Shifting to spec viewport, covering 3DS Max, SolidWorks, and Maya, the 4060 Ti faces challenges. It's bested by the 6750 XT in Mayo by 22% and 3DS Max by 33%, but it holds a tiny edge over the 6750 XT in SolidWorks by 3%. As for the RX 7600, results are mixed. Premiere Pro brings surprises, with the 6750 XT leading the pack. The 4060 Ti trails it by 23%, and is even overshadowed by the 3060 Ti by 20%. However, it does manage to outpace the 7600 by 13%. In After Effects, the 6750 XT and 3060 Ti lead the way, leaving the 4060 Ti 22% behind. The RX 7600 surprisingly keeps pace with the 4060 Ti. Quite the benchmark roller coaster. Time to push the 4060 Ti to its limits with some overclocking action. Using the Asus Dual OC version, we dialed up to a 10% boost in power limit, a plus 170 megahertz bump on the core and added 1220 onto the memory. The result? A solid 7% rise in average FPS in heaven benchmark, but the low percentage scores remain consistent. The best part? The cards stayed calm with only a 6% uptick in power consumption. All right, let's wrap up this GPU showdown. The 4060 Ti, Nvidia's newest mid-range marvel, has had quite the face-off in rasterization performance. It stays neck and neck with its predecessors and rivals, shining especially in efficiency by becoming the undisputed low power king. Its prowess and rate tracing is evident, but the 3060 Ti does occasionally give it its run for its money, reminding us that legacy power isn't easily overshadowed. The 6750 XT from Team Red consistently pushes above its weight class, sometimes even outpacing the 4060 Ti in specific benchmarks. And as for the RX 7600, it holds its own as the value champ, making it the best pick for budget conscious buyers. However, the 4060 Ti isn't without its challenges. While it flexes its muscles in ray tracing, it occasionally stumbles in standard rasterization tasks. In the realm of benchmarks, it's a mixed bag, from dominating in Blender to trailing in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Overclocking adds a nice touch to its performance, but it's not a game changer. So what's the final verdict? If you're chasing top tier efficiency and decent ray tracing capabilities without breaking the bank, the 4060 Ti might just be your car. But if rasterization performance is your primary concern, you might want to weigh your options, especially considering the stiff competition from both Team Red's older 3060 Ti and Team Red's 6750 XT. Now the decision lies with you. Which GPU will earn its place in your room? Whatever you choose, happy gaming and content creating. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Also make sure to check out the RTX 4060 review we did. That'll be on screen right now.